check this out. We can get autocomplete for CSS files with Quasar. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If I jump into index page, and let's just say we've got something like a div here, and we want to add some padding to it. Usually we do something like this, class is equal to Q dash padding or, and then whatever, you know, medium. The same with uh, aligning things, positioning and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of utility classes that Quasar gives us. And especially if you're starting out, you might not know what all of these are. So there's this really cool app extension. Well, no, it's not an app extension. It's a Visual Studio Code extension called SCSS Everywhere. So you can go ahead and look for that. There it is there, SCSS everywhere, get that installed. And what that does, I'll just show you in a second here. If you jump into your source CSS app.scss file, everything inside of here, basically any of these files that it finds are going to automatically be included in uh, auto completion for your classes. So I'll give you an example, dot my dash class and we can just set that to, well, nothing by default if we like. And now if I come down here and click this new little button we've got, that is going to recache our CSS. So it's gonna search through all of our CSS files and our SCSS files. So we'll run that. And now what did I call that again? My class. So then I can come in here and we can see it already in the auto completion. How cool is that? But it gets better. It actually allows you to point to a place on the web so if I bring up Chrome here and I go to the Quasar docs, so we'll go to Quasar dev, and I wanna show you how to do this properly so that you can keep, make sure that you're up to date with the latest Quasar CSS. And if we come in here to, uh, where is it? W getting started, Quasar flavors, there's a section here for UMD or standalone. And the reason I've clicked this is this is basically going to allow you to find a CDN for Quasar CSS. In other words, a place on the web where you can get all of Quasar CSS files. So if I copy this here, you can see this basically points to Quasar's production CSS. And then let's paste that in a new tab and you can see it here. That's Quasar's production CSS file. All right, so we can get auto completion for all of this and I'll show you how it works. Basically, if we jump into our settings here and you can do this in your normal settings by going control comma and then pressing this button to open up your settings file. But you probably want to do it on a per project basis because if you do it for your entire CSS, uh, for your um, default settings, then that means every project you open is going to have this auto completion. And that's probably not what you want. You probably only want that auto completion for your Quasar projects. So let's come in here and we'll go to our settings file instead of VS Code settings. And if you don't have this, then you can make it yourself. Older projects for Quasar might not have this. And then I'm just going to find the code here. I've got it on my right screen. And here it is. It is HTML-CSS-Class. And we can see we're getting a little bit of auto-completion here. We're looking for remote style sheets. Remote style sheets. And now we can add in here any remote style sheets. So I'm just going to paste in that CDN link. Once again, I got that here from Quasar's documentation for UMD slash standalone mode. I just copied that. And all we're doing is adding that setting in there. Save it. We're going to have to recache the settings here. And that's now going to basically download all of these CSS files and check this out. If I come in here and say Q dash margin or, I might have to close this file out and open it again, or I might even need to restart the project. Let's have a look and try that again. Q dash, yeah, it looks like that's not working immediately. So I'm going to try closing down Visual Studio Code, opening it up again, giving that a second to load, and let's see if that fixes the problem. All right. So we can see once again, it's looking for classes and it's been cached, Q dash, padding or, and there we go. We have the entirety of Quasar CSS available to us. So this is especially good for things like justify. Sometimes I forget the things with justify. So we can come in here, I have to start writing that again. And there we go, we've got justify around, between, center, all of that is now available to us. How cool is that? And this will work for any other libraries that you're using. So if you're using another library or you're basically pulling in CSS from somewhere else, then you might be able to just paste in the CDN and get that to work. And by the way, just a qu another quick tip here, 
um, if you have some CSS that isn't being displayed for whatever reason, like maybe you've got another library that you're pulling in um, that's auto-generating CSS, I don't know, something like that, you could create a new folder in here, do a couple of underscores to say that it's a private folder, and you could do like CSS-auto-complete, um, something like that, and then create a new file in here called auto-complete.css, or whatever you want to do, or scss. And then you could just start whacking your CSS directly in there and you'll get autocomplete for it because this is going to find it. When we recache it, it's going to search through the folders and find this file. However, it doesn't end up in our bundler because it's not being pointed to in our uh, root app.scss file. All right, so Quasar is going to use this file this file isn't being used, however, it will be picked up by the autocompleter. So if you want to manually add some autocompletion, this might be an interesting way that you can do that. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you like this kind of stuff, then check out quasarcast.com slash register where you can find more of my videos. And I'll quickly type that in here. Quasarcast.com slash register. You can sign up for account there. It's totally free and I will teach you a lot of the cool stuff I know about Quasar. All right, signing off.